now that we've looked at the importance of water and how unique water is, let's talk about where we find water on Earth. So where do we have our water? Well, most of the Earth is covered with water. Unfortunately, though, not all water that we can use um, to help sustain life. So I have this interesting analogy here. If all the water on our planet fit into a two liter bottle, only 60 milliliters of this would be fresh water. Uh, the water that's easily accessible to us that are in our lakes and rivers would be four drops of all of that. So if you think about a big two liter bottle and four drops of that two liter bottle, that's how accessible fresh water is on earth. It's easy for us to take it for granted because we live in a country where fresh water is readily available. It's not the case everywhere in the world. And actually it's probably not even the case everywhere in our country. We just happen to live in a very urban metropolitan area where it's a lot more accessible than maybe some other areas are. So we're very fortunate that in San Diego, we have fresh water easily and readily accessible, but that's not the case for everybody. All right, and so we can look at the amount of fresh water there. Here we've got this barrel analogy. So not a whole lot is available as fresh water. Some water is stored in what we call aquifers. So these are underground layers where we've got water. So this is where groundwater is stored. Aquifers can flow out in springs. We can access it. Unfortunately, it's really easy to deplete them when we use it faster than we can replenish it. Okay, so you can see that this is where the water table looks like. And so we've got these wells, we've got the aquifers, and then we tap into the aquifer so that we can utilize the water there. Okay, and here's location of our locations of where aquifers are in, you know, our southwestern part of the United States. Okay, um, we pull out a lot of water in the U.S. We use a lot of water for hydroelectric power and for irrigation. Agriculture, very large per percentage of our global water consumption. And then this is just basically so water footprint. So this is how much water it takes to do each of these activities. So we've got um, one chart here raising certain types of animals or growing certain types of crops. That's how much water is used and then um, other things like making a t-shirt or making a chocolate bar how much water is used there so there's certain things that definitely use a lot more water um, than others so beef beef production is a huge usage of water because the cows need to drink the water and also we have to grow all of the food used to feed the cattle. So cattle production is a huge, huge consumption or consumer of water. So, um, you know, if we think about our accessible fresh water um, and choices that we can make that lessen the impact, um, beef is definitely an area that has a lot of connotations to the planet between its water usage and uh, contributions to global warming. So, um, Beef definitely has a huge contributor to all of that.